The crack everybody, welcome back to the channel, Cards Everywhere here, bring you another weekly lead deck profile. It is a 13 energy week this week, no more no less a turn. So there is a lot of marsupials running around out there. Also the space technology is a decent deck this week, along with any cost increase decks. But where I think the hidden gem is this week is the Watching the Skies deck. So this is the version I have. I'll give you a quick rundown and we'll jump into a game. So first up, Taj Mahal. On the draw, a random card in your hand gains 25 power and another random card in your hand gains 30 power until played. Next we have Hanging Gardens of Babylon. On the draw, your cards in hand gain 35 power permanently, and this card locks permanently. Next we have Formal Hot. On the draw, your space cards wherever they are gain 30 power until played. And then on the play, for every round completed this game, your space cards wherever they are lose 10 power permanently. Next we have Telescopium. On the play, you're watching the Skies cards, wherever they are, gain 15 power until played. Next we have al -Zar Quali. On the draw, if your deck contains Astro Globe, you're watching the Skies cards in hand, gain 10 power this turn. Next we have Mural Quadrant. On the play, if your deck contains Tycho Bahare, your space cards in hand gain 25 power this turn. Next is Jean Sylvian Bailey. On the play, you're watching the skies. Mega Matt and Secret Society's cards in hand gain 15 power this turn. Next we have Ferdinand Verbist. On the play, or on the draw, if your deck has 8 or more Watching the Skies cards, this card gains 20 power permanently. And then on the return, for every time either player has played Ferdinand Verbist this game, both players Watching the Skies cards, wherever they are, gain 10 power until played. So a bit of a dodgy card on the mirror match, but can also be beneficial for you. Next we have Celestial Globe. On the draw, for every space card you have played this game, up to a maximum of 14. This card gains 5 power until played. Then we have Arecibo Observatory. On the draw, your cards in hand lose 10 power this turn, and this card gains 80 power this turn. Next we have Sumerabian Chanrescar. On the draw, your common and rare Watching the Skies cards, wherever they are, gain 19 power until played. Next we have Jantar Mantar. On the draw, if your deck has two or more Wonders of Construction cards, your Watching the Skies cards, wherever they are, cost minus one energy and gain 25 power until played. So we want to rotate this card around as soon as possible. Same with this next one, Wilhelm Olbers. On the play, if your deck has four or more space cards, this card gains 26 power this turn. Then on the return, your Me Me Mega Math and Watching the Skies cards, wherever they are, cost minus one energy until played. That helps a lot this week with the low energy. Next we have Greenwich Meantime. At the start of a turn, this card loses 24 power until played. On the play, if it's the second turn of a round, this card gains 48 power this turn. And also on the play, if it's round 3, this card gains another 48 power this turn. Next we have the big hitter, Terminator. On the draw, this card gains 40 power permanently. And then on the return, if it's the last turn of a round, this card costs minus 2 energy permanently. Next we have Su Song. On the draw, for every Watching the Skies card in your deck, up to a maximum of 14, your Watching the Skies cards, wherever they are, gain 2 power until played. Then we have Tycho Bahare. 
On the play, if your deck has 12 or more space cards, your space cards in hand gain 25 power this turn, and then on the return, this card costs minus 3 energy until played. A nice little help later in the game with the energy. And finally we have Astro Globe. Astro Labe. On the play, your space cards, wherever they are, gain 10 power this round, and if this card matches the arena, this card gains 10 power this turn. So that is the deck guys. It is quite strong this week. Um, it's been very consistent for me. The odd time you might only be able to play two cards a turn, but it ramps up very powerful very quickly. And the energy gets more manageable later in the game once you get your two energy reduction cards rotated around. But so far this week, I've seen mostly marsupials dominating. They also are very strong very early. And some of the space technology decks running around as well. But not too much trouble, really. We seem to be having trouble finding a game. I'll go back and try again. Sometimes that happens when you linger on the deck creation screen too long. Hopefully we get a real opponent to let you see how the deck functions. But if we do get a bot, I'll play another game anyway. So how are you finding this week? I think we had a very similar week not so long ago for only 13 energy a turn. I believe I also put a deck up for that week. It might also still be viable. I believe it was a cost increase deck. So, um, you can check that one out if you're looking for something other than this. But I think the Watching Disguise will be the big deck this week. We still seem to be having trouble finding an opponent. Here we go. It is a bot. So I'll play another game after this. But this will give you a good idea of how the deck runs anyway. So we've got the Hanging Gardens in the first turn. That's not too bad. So I think we'll get our Subar, the Tycho, and the Astroglobe are around. And we'll get the meantime in place for next time it comes around. And it'll be ready for round three then. So we're playing against the Primates. Might also be a good deck this week. But since it's a bot, I'm not too worried. There's our Jantar. We get that around. We get the Greenwich. And I suppose the Telly to get the boosts for later in the game. But we should be okay in this first round. So 100 head. Plenty of wiggle room. There's our Wilhelm, we'll get him around as well, just for the energy reduction. And I suppose we go Jean and the Taj Mahal for a 351. Close, but I believe that was enough to win the first round here. And we should be fine going forward. I'll see what we draw here. If we get Terminator now, I might put it in place for next round. And it looks like we did. So I'll get the Terminator round with the Owl and the Mural. For a 5.52. More than enough to jump way ahead. So we should be fine playing the Fumble Hot at the end of this round. There is the Astro Globe. So as you can see, the cards get very powerful very quickly. So 496. Stay plenty ahead of the boss. So we should be able to get a quick win here and we can jump into a real match. And you can see how the deck really performs.
So we'll get the Fama Hut at the end here and see what else we can play. So we get that around for 445. It's a nice handy win against the boss here. And we're in for a big round this round as well. So as you can see, the deck functions extremely well. We'll get the Jantak around with the Tycho and the Astro Globe for a 542 start. We'll try and save a cheap card for playing Terminator here in the last turn. So I suppose we'll play Wilhelm, the Telescopium, and the Meantime for a 546. Still more than enough to stay ahead of the opponent. And with Terminator coming around and the reduction from Wilhelm, we should be in a good position here to finish out the match. So we go Jean, Al and Terminator for a 6.53 and that should be the end of this game. So there we go. The Primates still put up a very good fight but the Watching the Skies beat out in the end. So we'll jump into another match here and see if we can get a win against a real opponent. So we'll go back home. As you can see, I have a lot of quests saved up. I have completed the Season Pass already, so I am going to wait till the new Season Pass rolls around and claim them all at once. So it'll be a nice big boost of gems for me. And I can get the new stuff that comes out at the same time. I do quite like the Season Pass. Uh, you get plenty of gems for it, and you don't really need to be paying money for any of the boosters. So that is quite nice. So hopefully we can find a real opponent this time. Sometimes I find two bots in a row, which is not ideal, but we found one quickly. So hopefully we got a real opponent and seems like we did. So this will be a good test of the deck. Let's see what the opponent is playing. Probably the marsupials. We will say hello. We get the Wilhelm around. Play the Celestial Globe and the Astro Globe for a 249 start. See what the opponent goes with. So it is a Marsupials deck. This will be a good comparison. Looks like we have the one point lead here at the start. Let's see if we can keep up. So we'll get our Gene, the Tycho, and the Su Song around, I think. Actually, we'll go with the Mural Quadrant for a 439. So we are keeping up with the opponent. Hopefully we draw Famal Hot or Terminator here. And that will give us the boost we need here to win the first round. So it is the Terminator. So we'll go with the Terminator, the Al, and we we'll go with Sue Song. For a 360. Unfortunately, I think the opponent was just able to squeeze out the win. Oh, looks like we were able to squeeze by ourselves here for three points. But I will take it. Let's see if we can outpower them now for the rest of the game. So 
So we want to put something cheap here beside the Terminator. Along with the Jantar and the Telescopium for a 475 start. Again, it is enough to stay ahead of the opponent. The Hanging Gardens give these cards in hand a permanent boost. And that will be locked in our hand for the rest of the game. But we should be okay. So let's see here. We'll go with the Fernando, the Greenwich Mean Time, and the Taj Mahal for a 440. Still enough to stay ahead of the opponent. And we'll get rid of the Famal Hot out of the hand here now. At least we will try to. We get the Wilhelm. We weren't able to get it out of the hand, unfortunately, so we'll just go for the win here with a 547. Still more than enough to win out the game here. And at worst, we can play Famal Hot at the end of next round. Or if we get an opportunity this round, we'll play it as well. It's not worth playing after round three, though. So I think I will actually just get out of the hand now and go for the win in round four if we have to. But we'll see if we can eke out the win anyway this round. So I think we're going to go with the Mural Susang and the Taiko for a 5.22. Not enough to quite catch up, but we are still not trading too far behind. And we have our Terminator coming out now. So that might be enough to finish out the game. We will just wait and see here. So Terminator is nice and cheap. Play the Jantar and the Al for a 5.95 and we'll see if that is enough. And it looks like it was folks. So as you can see we can definitely beat out the marsupials this week and the deck does get stronger from there. So I hope you did enjoy folks. If you did leave a like and comment, let me know what you think of the deck. And I will catch you next time. Cards everywhere, out.